once you lace them up, you get you got to play. And we missed shots early, and I think that dictated how how the whole day went for us too. Um, you know, um, uh, and we just couldn't get out of a rut. And once again, I have to credit that's that's Robert Morris's defense. You know, they switch a lot, so they keep you off balance. And we played one of our best basketball games at Robert Morris this year, and yeah. and I think this was one of our, our worst. But um, that's a very good basketball team. We were playing our best basketball when Adonis w was healthy, for sure. Uh, Matt Hunter was at the four. That's his advantage. Uh, you know, then we got turned turned around a little, but then it, it helped Joe. Now Joe was playing much better. I think our system on offense, it's a lot. It's a ball screen offense, which allows guys to roll and put in layups. Mm -hmm. So Brandon, Terrell, and, and obviously Joe, they're, they're really just taking good shots for them. Yeah. Um, and I think that's a product of, of how we play. Um, but I thought they defended ball screens well, and as I said, I thought we were just uh, we weren't in fifth gear today. I didn't think we we played with a lot of energy. Uh, Adonis obviously is a three-point shooter, and when he doesn't make shots, that hurts our spacing a little. But just in general, it wasn't Adonis. We go two for 19 collectively. Yeah. One of Kyle's worst offensive performances of the year. I thought Matt Hunter played extremely hard, but I'm happy for Joe. Although he didn't play one of his best basketball games, Joe's ended his career uh, on a positive note. In, in not that uh, there's You're right. not more basketball to be played, but at home and. He's finished, um, you know, playing his best basketball. He should be very proud.